Hey guys, for today's class, there's two things that we need. It's Ninja Week in celebration of International Ninja Day on December 5th. So I want you to go put on a ninja shirt or find something and make a ninja headband or put on a cool mask. I want you to train, dress up like a ninja. You don't have to, but I know you'll have a little bit more excitement if you do. Second thing, get a piece of paper and draw a monster that looks like this. In today's drills, we're going to together decorate our little monsters. I'm gonna make mine a ninja. So just draw the outline and we'll do the rest throughout today's class. Okay, go do that. Did you get all this stuff? Perfect. As you can see, we're practicing our ninja walks today. So if you have an adult nearby, let them know. You might spook them at some point today. Hands on back, feet on floor. Dragons, rock. Feet together, Kurdessi. I'm a dedicated little dragon. Step really far with that right foot. Put up that right hand, take that left hand, twist those hips, both feet are on the ground, and punch. Cross those arms, turn, bend that right knee, heels off the ground, knees tilted, bend it, there you go, back straight, big block. I'm a spell, self-discipline, in order to bring out the best in myself and others. Turn both hips, grab the horse, lean back, and big punch, go, aya, and shove. Little. Dragons roll. Courtesy. All right, guys. So the first activity. Do you have that monster nearby? Wait, let me go get mine. Yep, so I have my monster. Have yours. Put it on a counter or something nearby and come right back. Okay, got it? Cool. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks. Maybe a little bit more. We're gonna go face forward, back, side, side, and we're gonna do that a couple of times. So 10 of them, maybe 15. And once you're done, go draw some eyes on your monster. Let's go. So last month we talked about focus. This month we're talking about excellence and rising above all the chaos because of the awesome mindset we have. So spread those legs, shoulders back, turn those toes up, bend those knees, double elbow, and let's hold this for 10 seconds. We got more. You got more in you? Raise the roof. That's what excellence is all about. We're gonna get into that guard stance. We're gonna go up on our toes for that cat stance. Same me out. Yes, I heard it loud. Pick that knee up really high. Kick, bring all the way back. And put it all the way down. There you go, put those hands up. We're gonna do five on each side. Make sure the hips, shoulders, up, out, back, and down. One step, two step, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back shoulder roll, 
guard stance. One step, two step. And then go draw something on your monster and come right back. Roll the shoulders back. Close the fingers. Yep, and the rich hand is with the thumb. So for 60 seconds, you're gonna go cat's paw, tiger claw, ridge hand, jump switch, cat's paw, tiger claw, ridge hand, switch. But yes, cat's paw followed by a tiger claw, return my hips, and then come back with the ridge hand. So each time, faster. Stronger because of that. growly face grr and then oh and then we're gonna do a quick drill with our foible members let's go all right so we're gonna do the go game when i say oh the red light green light game so when i say green light you want to run around and go as fast as you can and then when i say yellow light you're going to walk around and go and when i say red light you want to freeze Now that you're all warmed up and you totally show me the monster, it's so cute. Be proud of this. Hard work pays off. We're gonna do your form and have some fun with that because it's ninja week. And once we're done, we're gonna have a celebratory activity. Let's get started. Feet on floor. Dragon's rock. Feet together. Hurt to see. Whoop. Dragon form. Three. Guard stance. Up. In. Out. That's all with the same hand. We take our back hand. So our right hand, tiger, claw. Pull back to that cat stance. Hands go up. Take that leg. Front kick. Land gently, quietly. Twist and punch. Turn the foot. Already there. Look how cool you look like a ninja. Tighten that bend if you have to. Kick to kick. And land. Roll the shoulders back. Feet together. Feather the feet. Hands on back. Feet on floor. Dragon. Rock. Feet good. Hurt down. Dragon form three. Guard stance. What's the first thing? And then? Yes, and when you do this, make sure that you are hitting with the squishy part of your hand as if you have a crayon and you're drawing nice solid circles or you're poking a hole in your new cardboard treehouse. Right? Let's go back. Let's focus. A little stronger, a little faster. Up block, in block, out block. 
Tire fall. Cat stands. Front kick. Twist and punch. Rotate into it. Pizza kick. And land. There you go. You better have been looking at your target, not at me though. Okay, high five. The next step is you're gonna do it super quiet. You're gonna sneak up on your adult. And when it's time, I'll yell. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No, I'll just yell guard stance. And you'll take it from there. Go. Shh. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. Stands. <laughs> Give yourself two claps. Come all the way back. Now let's see who can be quieter. Me or you. Well down. Fun facts. I from my pants. Let's do that again. Quiet. Ninja. Ninja. There you can do that. Do that left and your right. Put it like this. Ninja. Let's go. Give yourself two claps. That kiao was so loud. You totally had to scare your face. Well done. You ready for the next round? Are you sure? Do you have pillows? This is bonus. Do you have pillows or newspaper? People, pieces of paper? I want to see if you can do your form on top of it without making a single noise. Yeah? Or, and, I mean, you can also make a path and walk quietly onto your couch and do your form on your couch. Or the big pile of pillows, or whatever it is that your parents have, your adults have approved of for you to do it on. So follow along with the video. Be really quiet. Shh. Until you get to your performance spot and you're going to do your form. Go! Out, tiger claw. Kabang, kabang. All the way up. 
One step, two step. Feet together, two claps. This is what you're gonna do, are you ready? Always ready. Say always ready. Always ready. That's what excellence is all about. Not just being okay with being okay. Being okay with being okay, knowing that we can rise. It's a mindset. Attitude is everything. You're allowed to have good days and bad days. You're not okay to give up. Never give up. That's what excellence is all about. So raise those hands up in the air, wiggle them out and say, excellence! And go find your grown-up, because we need them. Now that you got your grown-up, they're going to turn around as like this. And you have to sneak up on them like this. But if they hear you, they're going to go like this. And try to tickle you in the head, poke you in the belly. And you're going to go with love. I'm watching you. Up. Tire claw, in, tire claw, out, tire claw, kabang! One step, two step. I love you! And then do it again. So you're gonna do it three times. Uno, dos, tres, three. And then come back to me. Go, 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 go! Follow along with your ears. Do the right thing at the right time. Faster and stronger each time. Let's go. Hands out back, feet on floor. Dragon rock. Feet together, curtain, touch, feet. All the way up. 